Well, know that your patriotic spirit and, your, and some medical treatment pulled you through a, a difficult ankle injury last week. Just bring us up to date with your physical condition and your preparation for the clay court season. Well, the condition of the ankle is getting better and uh, it's more positive than negative, uh, better than I actually expected it to be in the beginning of the week when I made a, uh, a first MRI and, and some analysis of uh, trying to diagnose what, what, it, what is going on and if there has been any bigger damage. There hasn't been any bigger damage, which is uh, you know, encouraging for this, for this week and uh, hopefully I can be part of the tournament because it's... Uh, if not my favorite, then one of my favorite tournaments in the world. I live here and love this place. I have lots of friends who come support. So they gave, they gave me uh, even more, uh, you know, uh, inspiration, motivation to be part of the event. Well, of course, um, everyone's keen to see if Nadal can uh, defend his title and continue his remarkable 42-match unbeaten run here. From a playing point of view, just describe how difficult it is to compete with him on this surface. Oh, it's 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 the ultimate challenge on clay. I mean, beating Nadal. Everybody knows it. It's been like that for for many years. He's been he's uh, you know he's definitely the best player ever to play the game on this surface, and uh, he's achieved so much. And he has lost maybe less than ten matches in his career on clay court. So I think that says enough about his qualities. And uh, you know, he, he's again the number one favorite uh, to win any tournament on clay wherever he plays. And, uh, it's it's a big challenge, you know. You need to be on top of your game, not just uh, not just uh, throughout some parts of the match, but all all match. You know, from the first to the last point, you have to play your best in order to to win against the best. Well, no, that of course you're the world number one. But just describe how hard it is to maintain that form, and the constant need to improve your form, both physically, technically, and imp the importance of match tactics. Yes, well, I, I'm fortunate to have a great team of people around me who are experts um, in, in their jobs and uh, uh, have this team combined for the last six, seven years. We know each other really well and that helps, uh, you know, in order to, to improve on a day-to-day basis. Of course, the big love that I have towards this sport and playing it with a lot of, uh, a lot of joy, a lot of fun and having lots of people who support me who, who uh, bring me even more energy you know to to wake up every day wanting to to practice more to work more and to to win more and finally you've just been presented uh, with a check for ten thousand dollars from the atp world tour for the novak djokovic foundation just talk to us a little bit about that well it's atp has been very very generous and um, i want to thank them in this occasion officially because uh, you know it's it means a lot we appreciate it and uh, our foundation is is very young and uh, still has uh, still has to grow and a lot to do, but uh, this is uh, one beautiful gesture and, and great sign of also appreciation from uh, a leading governing body in, in tennis uh, of, of what uh, people in our foundation do. So uh, it's also uh, an inspiration to, to to continue on doing a good work and uh, allowing kids around uh, Serbia and around the world to have uh, you know better conditions uh, for their lives.